In this video, we'll be showcasing some noteworthy Skyrim mods that have caught our attention in the third week of June 2024. We'll start with gameplay-related mods, and the first one on our list is the Falmer Servant Lines expansion. This mod enriches the interactions within the game by adding more dialogue to the Falmer servants you encounter in Blackreach. It provides new lines for the Falmer servants to use in various situations, such as warning or attacking the player, enhancing the immersion and realism of interacting with the Falmer race. Particularly recommended for players who wish to deepen their understanding of the Falmer culture and history, and explore their role in the world of Skyrim more thoroughly, this mod transforms your interaction with the Falmer into a new dimension of engagement. If you're looking to immerse yourself further into gameplay, this mod will offer you a fresh experience with the Falmer race. Next up is NPCs Learn to Barter. This mod introduces a novel approach to Skyrim's trading system, where the bartering prices are determined by comparing the speech skill of NPCs with that of the player. It ensures that each transaction feels unique, making negotiations with NPCs a more realistic and challenging experience. If the player's speech skill is lower than the NPC's, the NPC will offer less favorable prices. Conversely, if the player's speech skill is higher, they can secure better deals and may even turn a profit. Thus, this mod adds greater depth and authenticity to Skyrim's trading mechanics, offering players a richer array of interactions and strategic gameplay options. Next up is Click Light. Highlight objects clicked in console. This mod offers a feature that highlights objects selected through the console. It is particularly useful for modding experiences as it visually emphasizes the selected object when using console commands to select specific items within the game, making it easier to identify for modifications or inspection. Moreover, as an SKSE plugin without an ESP, it can be installed or uninstalled at any time during gameplay. If you've ever experienced inconvenience while selecting item objects through the console, this mod will provide significant convenience. Next up is Better Alt Tab. This mod is a straightforward enhancement that mutes the audio when the game is running in the background and displays the cursor when the mouse hovers over the game window in windowed mode. When the game window is in the background, if the mouse is over it, the cursor will be displayed and the audio will be paused. Once the game regains yeah, focus, the, the audio resumes. Although it's a simple feature, it makes the ALT tab functionality more convenient, which you might find beneficial during your gameplay. Next up is Elden Rope. This mod, which is an attachment module for Elden Rim, adds a fidget spinner-like tool that allows for swift movement. It appears to be a mod inspired by Zin's simple rope arrow, enabling players to conveniently traverse terrain features using a wire while wielding a melee weapon. The animations are also quite smooth, making the movement and landing appear natural and not awkward. Although simple, it adds more action-oriented elements and convenience, which is why I'm introducing it to you. If you're a regular user of Elden Rim, this mod would be a great addition. In this segment, we'll delve into mods related to animations. First up is the Feminine Slope Animation Replacer, this mod feminizes the character animations when ascending or descending slopes. It acts as a motion replacer for the previously introduced EVG clamber slope animations, utilizing the open animation replacer's new feature to detect surface angles, thereby triggering new animations while traversing inclined surfaces. Notably, at approximately 45 degree or slopes, Subtle efforts and deliberate steps are introduced, frequently visible not only to the player, but also to female NPCs. This mod brings a visual transformation to Skyrim's gameplay, presenting more natural and feminine movements for female characters when they navigate sloped terrains. In this session, we'll be introducing mods related to followers. I'm particularly thrilled to present the Serana Replacer mod. This mod is a replacer for the character Serana in the Skyrim game, focusing on the typical appearance we all associate with Serana, while also enhancing her looks. Often, replacers that change her appearance too drastically 
can make it challenging to stay immersed in the game. However, this mod maintains Serana's original look and improves upon it, making it excellent for immersion. It offers a variety of options through faux mod, including makeup, the presence of vampire teeth, and even eye color. Next up is Taika Elixi, Little Witch custom voiced follower. This mod adds Taika Elixi, a half elf witch, as a companion. She's a follower with the charming concept of a clumsy witch and boasts a unique dialogue system with over 1,000 voiced lines. Her conversations are reactive to the situation, offering a variety of responses to anticipate. Equipped with custom magical items and accessories, Taika is an independent companion who does not occupy a standard follower slot. You can find her at the Frozen Hearth, and adventuring with Taika promises to deliver a fresh experience to the player. Her distinctive personality and abilities will enrich your journey through the world of Skyrim. Next up is Cold Sun's Vision's Vixie Talax, custom-voiced Altmer Spell Sword. Vixie Talax is a female Altmer Spell Sword character with a mature voice, Hello. custom crafted what using high poly head we and can. featuring a variety of functionalities. Sure, I'll do that. She comes with over 200 custom sometimes. voice lines. You can find her in solitude, either enjoying a drink at the Winking Skeever or shopping around. If she captures your interest, feel free to add her to your Skyrim experience. In this session, I'll introduce you to some creature-related mods for Skyrim. First up, I'd like to present Honey the Frost Atronach Cat. This mod adds a new companion to Skyrim, a Frost Atronach in the form of a cat. With a unique design and animations, Honey not only fits seamlessly into the world of Skyrim, but also stands out, enhancing the game's immersion and visual appeal. Next up is New Dwarven Sphere Centurion Female, this mod presents a fresh variant of the Dwarven Centurion, specifically a female version, adding a new dimension to the Dwarven automatons encountered in the game. For those who have a penchant for PS Boss's female creature series, or are interested in enhancing their Skyrim experience with a touch of Dwarven originality, the new Dwarven Sphere Centurion female mod is definitely worth checking out. Next up is Troll Cubs, Mihail Monsters and Animals. This mod introduces troll cubs into the game, which can be found in caves or nests. These adorable troll offspring will flee when approached by the player, but are fiercely protected by their mother. By diversifying the previously singular troll entity, players can encounter these new creatures during their exploration of Skyrim. Additionally, there's the infant Draugrs. Similar to the troll mod, this one adds small Draugrs to the game further diversifying the Draugr encounters for a more varied gameplay. In this session, I'm excited to introduce mods related to visuals. I'm particularly thrilled to talk about the Flying Ship Animated mod. This mod adds animated flying ships to the world of Skyrim, allowing you to see caravels crossing the skies in all regions, especially over cities. It enhances the fantasy and imagination of Skyrim, making it even more immersive. If you've always had endless fantasies about airships, I'm confident this mod will become a must-have in your collection. Next up is Animated Icebergs. This mod enhances the immersion of the game by making the small icebergs floating in the sea gently sway. It does not affect icebergs attached to land or other static objects. Only those adrift in the ocean are animated. It includes its own cracking sound effects, with volume adjustable in the settings menu, allowing players to experience the beauty of the Arctic more vividly. Next up is ERM Complex Parallax Materials. This mod adds the effect of complex parallax materials to the ERM mod, enhancing the game's rocks and mountains with greater detail and immersion. Through this mod, the mountains and rocks of ERM appear more three-dimensional, adding to the realism of the game world. It elevates the visual experience of the game, allowing players to immerse themselves more deeply into the world of Skyrim. Next on the list is the Jutenlands Nordic Tents, Replacer and Campfire add-on. This mod transforms Skyrim's tents into a Nordic Viking style, 
It predominantly features a white color scheme with added patterns in various colors to complete the Nordic tent aesthetic. The design is quite simple, yet stylish, and if it appeals to you, it might be worth giving a try. Thank you for watching today's video featuring the must-have new Skyrim mods for the third week of June 2024. If you found these mods exciting and helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, smash that like button, and enable notifications to stay updated with our latest uploads. Make sure to grab these fantastic mods to elevate your Skyrim gameplay to new heights. Stay tuned for more awesome content. And until next time, happy modding and happy adventuring.